Howdy folks, Spook here again with, um, I don't remember where we left off. Spook here again, playing uh, Mountain Blade Warband, and we were heading this way. Through the land, oh sorry, we're heading through the Spotting Lands to go visit the Vagar, no, the Vagars, not the Vagars, the Drodox again. Okay, uh, there's been a few comments since the last time I did this, because I've been doing this pretty infrequently, but, <laughs> alright, the suggestion is mostly roamed down to, Spook, you should go forth and become a vassal. That'll give you a thief and give you a constant stream of income. To, no, you shouldn't become a vassal because the Nords suck. And, oh, we're at peace! Yay! I'm gonna go visit a Swadian city, see if I can find... I'm gonna test that and say hello to Count Meltor over here. Meltor, don't run away from me. I, I'm, I wanna talk to you. Don't run away from me, you punk. Ugh. I could, I could have kicked his ass, too. I could kick your ass, too. And your ass! Well, I could get all your asses. I'm gonna drim. I was worried about crossing the Swadian lands. I gotta kick everyone's ass over here. Uh, anyway, other people were suggesting, Spook, go forth and found your own kingdom. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why I can't do that just yet. I can go forth and I can probably take a, f take a castle by siege. Oh. I'm gonna ambush again. Alright. Where are, where are my attackers coming from, I wonder? Okay. Ambush, but apparently there's nobody around to ambush me. Okay, that's not good. Get the nice the right. Ooh! There's stuff over here. I wanna just take this. Maybe I'll just get it for free or something. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Mace to the face! Mace to the face! I think I got 150 dinars all that. That's pretty nice. And there's a little action. But anyway, the reason why I can't do it, I want to go to the tavern. Or shop. Why are you following me around? Um, no, they're way too expensive. The reason why I haven't done that just yet is, I'll sum it up for you. In order to start my own kingdom, I have to go out and capture territory. <laughs> territory I have to capture has to be a castle, or God help me, a city. Now, besieging a place is going to take me at least a week, probably, because I don't have, because even Artemir's, um siege stats aren't up that high. Then I have to remove the people inside the castle, who probably outnumber me about 3 to 1, because I have 60 men and they have, like, 100. Then I have to hold the castle. <laughs> Excuse me. Against the very angry people who will come to claim it. Hello. Right. Ooh, you're pretty cute, let me see. You're a splendid mate of your acquaintance. Know more about you. Wife to Count Clace, mother to Count Devlin. Oh! Oh. Is that in your favor? No, he isn't a champion. Alright, bye. Adios. See you later, lady. Okay, um, what are your trade goods? Oh, you can sing and sell linen for a pretty penny here. You have a buttload of grain. Alright, I can sell this. Whoa! Yes, selling wool cloth here. And selling the flax here, too, because that's going for a lot. Wow. Glad I remembered to do that. Alright, what can I buy here cheap? Hides! I'll buy some hides cheap. Anyway. Okay, so if I take if I capture a castle, I have to hold it, which means that I have to then ditch the majority of my men at the castle to defend it. And go forth and get more men. I'm I'm gonna lose probably like half like I see twenty to thirty percent of the men when I take the castle. Which means I'm basically running around with just my my companions to defend me when the nation that I stole the Oh, a feast to celebrate the peace. Dang it all Ragnar, I'm trying to Did I do that yet? I did do that. Alright, we're in a... I'm not going to the feast. The feast, the feast can kiss my ass. Anyway. I want to point out something here to you guys. This is the reports rating thing. Uh, my party morale is 70, which is kind of middling. I have an honor rating of 9. I don't have any... My character right now is pathetic. Um, my party size limit is 72 people. I could get 5 more guys in my army right now. I have no I have no friends. I have six right to rule, which I managed to gain by basically going out there and helping the villagers. I have two major enemies, Jarl Eric and Jarl Turgor, because I stole their woman. I have no friends. This is the important thing to keep in mind here. Now mind you, this this doesn't apply to shit. I can send these people forth to get some other stuff, but Okay, we could budget report. See I'm losing money after we've seen this screen before. List of known lords by relation. Count Desmond and Riss. 
Eight. There's a reason I keep letting them go after a battle. <laughs> King Yarglek from the Vagerland. Two. You will notice that none of these numbers are especially high, but there are some that are stupendously low. This means that these people will not be backing me up if I have to go like go off and do trouble. Founding a kingdom means that I need more men. I need people who like me. I need to make sure that I will not be assaulted the second that I found a castle by five different nations all saying, Wow, I can get a free castle by kicking that guy's piddly ass into the ground really easy. Now see, I'm only mildly accepted by the Nords, but if I go forth and found a kingdom, chances are Ragnar is going to throw a hissy fit about it. Now my my plan is that I'm still going to the Vagerland. Hell with the him and his stupid feasts. My plan is this. <laughs> There's a lot of off-screen stuff that has to be taken care of in order to get this this thing taken care of. Do I have food? To get this, I have like no food. That's not good. Oh, I didn't sell all this flax. All right. Anyway, there is um. My plan is this. My plan was that I'm going to, I was thinking about doing some more stuff off screen to build up things. Like going around, attacking random stuff, and doing random things as you know, off screen as opposed to having to make you guys sit through me basically being the errand boy and, you know, the kicking thing of every single noble from here to Veluca over there. Uh, while I try to build up my relationship with the kingdoms. And also, oh, I can show you one mechanic though. Let's get some, let's get some Rodarks first though. And see if they need any help in the village. Ooh, it's a pretty, very pretty village. Anyway. You can send your companions to do stuff. You can send them to get information on different areas, like see how the relationships are, and it'll update your actual notes on the various, uh, <coughs> various kingdoms. <coughs> Excuse me. Some people you haven't met yet, you won't have much information on. You won't know where they stand. But some some of the different companions have different... Like, they know people. They came from places themselves. They're, they're all natives of this country that you're trying to basically become king of. Remember how we got here on a boat and we got attacked by people? It's like, spear for you! Whoosh! Um, and basically at the core of that, um, you can get information through those... Where the hell is your village elder? You can get information, or you can also alternately send them off to do various things that will increase your right to rule. Right to rule is how much the average person or the average lord thinks that you're... I can't even find your freaking guy here. Can I go in the water? Keep going in the water. Is this as deep as it gets? Yeah, it's as deep as it gets. 